Welcome back to What's New for 22. We're here at Motorcycle Live. It's big, it's green, no guesses. We're at Kawasaki UK. I'm talking to Craig Watson, and he's going to guide me through the range for 2022. Well, I suppose, given your topic is what's new for 22, we, we kind of stood in the perfect spot. This is the area of the stand where we focus on all of the new product. Uh, the first bike is this Versus 650. Big bike in our range, it's been in the range for maybe, I don't know, 14 years. Constantly evolved and being developed, and this is the new guise of it. So, big facelift, uh, sharper styling, a lot more protection on the front now for you as the rider, but a lot of tech under its skin. So, now got traction control, large TFT screen, and we do it in various, um, uh, we call them editions. So we do a tour edition, and this one here is the Grand Tour. So it literally comes everything you need to tackle, you know, cross continental journeys. Behind us, we've then got this retro area. Now, we started off with a bike called a Z900 RS, uh, maybe about four years ago, been a huge success. And we've updated that with a new flagship. So it's called the SE, so Z900 RS SE in what's called a yellow ball Kai paint scheme. And in short, we launched that bike in September. We placed our factory orders months ago and we sold what we thought we were gonna sell. We did it in a week. So we spoke to the factory, said, can we increase the order? We pretty much doubled it, but it only took us another two weeks to sell that. We asked the factory for more, no chance. So. It's kind of like a look at what you could have won. We've got the bike here, but they're already all sold out for 22. However, his little brother, this, the Z650 RS, it is available. They've literally just started landing in the showrooms. So it's um, a hark back to the Z650 of the 70s, but with modern day everything. So we do have traction control. We do have um, brakes that actually work. We, you know, it stops, it goes, it handles. And the way we look at it, it's the perfect bike to have fun on. And then you get to the one that you really can have fun on, which is up here in the background, the Ninja H2 SX. And the one that's on the turntable there is again, the high grade, it's the SE. So we've had that in the range, but it, it, it took a, a one year hiatus. It wasn't there this year and it's returning for 22. Now that bike is a 200 horsepower, supercharged bike but absolutely dripping in technology. So we've got radars front and back. So you can have cruise control, set it to the speed you're, you're wanting, let's say 70 mile an hour, pretend we're being legal. And if the car in front of you backs off, and slows down to 60, your bike will back off and slow down to 60. They speed back up again, it will speed back up to your preset speed. Because we've got front and rear radars, it also gives you a rear collision um, uh, warning. It gives you blind spot detection. So if there is such a thing as a, a rare something actually passing you when you're on one of those, it will light up your uh, uh, wing mirrors to tell you that there's something in your blind spot. Other little tricks it's got up its sleeve, it's got onboard tire pressure monitoring. So should you develop a slow puncture, a warning will go off whilst you're riding. Um, it's got keyless ignition, so you have a transponder in your pocket, you walk up, press the, the, the button, it knows you're near, and therefore it'll allow you to start. It's got a hill hold assist. You think, well, why would you need that? But if you're fully laden with, with luggage, you've got partner on the back. When you stop it and you give an extra squeeze of the brake, it'll lock the brakes for you until you go to set off and then it'll automatically release them. So that bike will start landing in the showrooms about February, March, 2022. And I suppose the message that we're putting across for the show, it's all to do with um, availability. The world's in a bit of a rough place at the moment as far as getting hold of components and products. And where we are at the moment, we're, we're doing our best to not sound like salespeople, but the reality is, if you want a motorcycle, the sooner you get to the dealer and place your order, the better, because stock will be uh, hard to come by next year. But we're looking forward to 2022.